Hey everyone, it's Clark Wimberly with Envision here for SketchApp TV to walk you through one of our latest freebies. We're going to be building a web template today with a space exploration theme. This actually started out as a PSD available for free on our Dribble page, but we're going to show you how to build it with Sketch. We're going to get started. Uh, we've got an artboard here. We've added an image that's going to be our big header hero image. We're going to go ahead and set a background color on the artboard. Set the mood a bit. And we're going to go ahead and add a gradient to the image. Then we're going to switch from trying that on the image. We'll just go ahead and make a rectangle, add a gradient here. This is going to be right on top of the hero image, so this will fade cleanly into the background. Go ahead and adjust the gradient up a little higher, make it nice and smooth. We've added a few more gradients here with Sketch makes really easy to layer things together. We're going to go ahead and come into another file and grab some icons. Just pick and choose through here, get what we need, go back, paste it in. Rename some of our layers, keep things organized. icons in place. We're going to set some color and then change the size. Zoom in a bit. We're going to add our title. Set a font. A weight. Size it a bit. Arrange things a little bit. You notice you can see my keyboard shortcuts down across the bottom of the screen, so if you're curious what tools I'm hopping to, just keep an eye on those shortcuts. Placing that circle, naming it. Now I've got a group with all of our logo stuff inside. Putting a page label there of home. As the nav goes in, these are some of the choices. Size it down a bit. We're going to move that over. Go grab another icon from our icon file. Paste it in, set a color, adjust the size, adjust the position. Put the icon in place. Group everything into a nav folder. I'm going to 
I'll draw a button around that last choice because it's a drop down. Change the properties, change the fill. Fine tune the sizing and the spacing. Align the entire nav with the logo that's across the screen. Now we're going to mark one of these choices as active, since the home page is the page the user is on. We're going to pick the green from the logo. Rename the layer. Save the file. adding some text, sizing it large. This is going to be our large main title right across the middle. Picking a font. Dropping the opacity of that background a bit more by tweaking the gradients, making sure our title stands out. We're going to add a subtitle. Center it. Start adding our call to action, the start exploring link. Add our underline in the green color. Rename the layer. Now we're going to start the graph that kind of goes across the middle. Looks like a, a wavy data point or some kind of chart. Just freehanding it out with the pin tool, adjusting the curves as we go. Now we're going to adjust the stroke or the border. Tweaking that first point.
changing some of the bins on some of these anchors. Sketch makes it pretty easy to just select a point and then pick one of the modes over to the top right. Making a gradient on this stroke. You can just drag these handles back and forth to change how far the gradient blends. We've picked our green color. Picking your color for the other side of the line. Renaming things. We're going to add some data points now with the triangle tool. some call outs that go up and down here. There's going to be some important dates uh, with some things on this timeline. Setting the font properties, the color, aligning things a bit, 